Hi all, welcome back to the screencast. In the last video we saw the if else block and we saw that the condition needs to be evaluated for the if else block to get executed. In this video we are going to understand a bit about something called as truthy and falsy values. Now as we said in the earlier video the complete condition should evaluate to either true or false. Now that is fine as long as we use the less than equal to greater than equal to equal to equal to operators then what happens is it automatically gets evaluated to either true or false but what if you do something like this so say a equal to 0 so now over here a is 0 and it somehow evaluated a and it it did not print this right so when you do not give a operator let's say now a is less than one now when you say a less than one it evaluates to true right but a itself is zero so this topic comes under something called as truthy or falsy values now it might not like a equal to 0 is not is neither a true nor a false value but it is ultimately evaluated to either true or false so the logic behind that is if you have an integer value then 0 is false 1 is true right so let's see if a 0 Yes, so you can see over here, 1 is evaluated as a truthy value uh, and 0 is evaluated as false value. Now what I can do is, let's show that if you have a minus sign, even minus 1 is a truthy value. So the basic point is, only 0 is regarded as a false value. Now let's go to a floating point. So yeah, so even minus values are evaluated to true. So the basic point over here to note is that it doesn't matter if your variable has positive value or negative value. The only point is if the variable is blank is in case of string or it is zero in case of integer and float and null in case of dictionaries, sets and maps then it is false if it has any value then it is true so let's say a is a see so i have an empty list and empty list is evaluated to a false the same case is with this. I'll just, I'll be lazy. So, if it has any value, then it is evaluated to true. So, I'll explain that in this. I'll just have only one value and it is evaluated to a true. So, this is something truthy or falsy values. And let's also say, so the same is true with dictionaries. So, if you have if you if the set dictionary the basic so the rule is like this set dictionary dictionary map tuple sorry map and dictionary same list tuple if variable is null false otherwise true 
fine if it is integer float the if variable equal to equal to 0 then false otherwise true now let's check about string now if you apply the same logic as set dictionary list then uh, in a string should be false if it has no value and true if it has at least one value So if it has no value then it is evaluated as a false if it has at least one value say a then it is evaluated as a true. So this is something we should understand and it is called as a truthy or falsy values. I myself do not like the words truthy and falsy but the logic behind that is this. And we need to be careful while we use such statements inside an if-else block. It is always recommended that you do not uh, write something like this. So let's say you have a condition wherein you want to print the name if it is not null. So instead of doing this, let's say... Now this, I mean, this evaluates all right. It is not a problem. But the problem is, uh, by default, what everybody will assume is that A is a Boolean operator. So while reading the code, it becomes a bit more difficult. So what we can do is evaluate this to, say, a Oh sorry, okay, this is a mistake. Yeah, so instead of just giving if A, write some condition so that that condition evaluates to true. That will help us to write maintainable code which is readable by everybody else. So we can say the same about integers. So if a not equal to 0, so something like that. So I will highly recommend everybody to use conditions which deliberately use conditions which evaluate to either true or false. So that will help us in maintaining writing maintainable code. So that is it about this video. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for the next video.